Mario, great to have you back on the show. And I guess let's start with that automation and the fact that the adoption of technology, I would imagine, is getting right at this topic of port congestion. Well, good morning, Morgan. Absolutely. I think uh, the Port of Long Beach has invested $4 billion uh, over the last 10 years and projected another $1.6 billion. But, uh, this, today, you're going to see the fruition of one of our mega projects, the Long Beach Container Terminal, the electrified terminal. And again, we're excited about this terminal. It's going to have the capability of moving 3.5 million containers annually and, of course, increasing the capacity here. Yeah. In terms of what you are seeing on the ground at the port right now, I mean, we know that one of the biggest ports in China, for example, is shut in or, or partially shut in right now. And we are getting these reports that there are container ships beginning to, I guess, pile up, if, if you will, off the coast of California. Um, just how great are the delays? Well, you know, the last, the last year, clearly, in the global shipping community, there's been disruption in the supply chain. And for Southern California here, the nation's largest port complex, it's, you know, we're not immune to that. So suffice to say that, again, it's an ongoing uh, dilemma here. But I can represent to you that everybody here, the stakeholders, are putting a full court press. Uh, our men and women who are working on the docks, our terminal operators, and, of course, uh, our relationships and collaboration with the marine terminal operators in terms of making sure we create greater efficiencies. But for the Pearl Long Beach, again, you're seeing that, uh, ironically, uh, our billions of investment is coming into fruition, not only with the international Long Beach International Gateway Bridge, but again, the Long Beach Container Terminal. That's going to be the state-of-the-art terminal of the, America, of the Americas, if not the, the world. So I, it's going to go a long way in terms of making sure that we address the movement of cargo and create greater capacity. Understood. So how long is it taking for a container to get unloaded off a ship and then, I guess, moved across the port and onto either a train or, or a truck for its final destination? Well, once that cargo ship gets to the, to the berth, you know, the average time is three to five days. But keep in mind, the other aspect to this uh, situation is these ships, these mega ships are a lot larger than they were 10 years ago. You know, coming, coming to the Port of Long Beach, we had vessels as large as 24,000 containers on a vessel. Uh, the average here now, 14 to 16. So 10 years ago, the average vessel, the largest vessel we had here was 8,000. So you put that in perspective, not only do we have more volume, but when a vessel arrives, the unloading and loading of that vessel, of course, is a 24-7 operation by our marine terminal operators and our dock workers. So, again, we're doing all we can here to make sure we expedite the movement and creating efficiencies here at the Port of Long Beach of that cargo. Hey, Mario has, I mean, we're all old enough to remember um, what different variants, prior variants, or, or the original even, uh, version of COVID did to manpower at ports. H how is it different now under Delta than it was, say, in March of 2020? Well, the good news is an overwhelming percentage of our doctors are vaccinated. And this, of course, was because of the advocacy here at the port and, of course, with the leadership of our mayor, Robert Garcia, and, of course, our, our governor, Governor Newsom. Uh, together, everybody moved forward to make sure that the first thing we needed to do was vaccinate these dock workers. Why? Because they've been working day in, day out since the pandemic. So, you know, the Delta variant is affecting every industry, uh, whether in business or, of course, in our personal life. But uh, the bottom line is the dock workers continue to work. And right now, we don't have a labor issue in terms of shortage of labor. Uh, and uh, But again, uh, obviously, the Delta variant is concerning uh, no matter if it's within the port or, of course, nationwide. 